Hi everyone, we are in DAPS. As we can see here, lots of projects are given by the respective science teachers. As we can see here, there are different kind of projects the students have prepared. And as we can see here, our biology faculty, Mr. Gupta sir, has given some projects. Sir, please explain about this project, what actually is this, this project belongs to. I have been the longitudinal section of the flower that saw the growth of pollen tree. Okay. Who the students? Would I have completed? Tell me something about it. Sir, this is a project, longitudinal section of flower that shows the growth of pollen tree. On reaching the stigma, pollen grains germinates and reaches the stem and enters the ovum. This is the uh, male uh, part of flower. The male gamete fuses with female gamete to form zygote. This process of fusion to form jagot is called fertilization in plants. Very nice. Sir, please ask some queries to the students. As I can see here, there are also many kind of projects here. Yeah. Hmm. All the students have what you have, what you have done. Please tell me that what you have completed now. Sir, as we all know, this is a fertilization in plant and the petals of the uh, Petals are the attractive part of the plant which shows the, which attract the insect to pollination. Fertilization, when male gamete fuse with female gametes to form zygote, uh, this process is called fertilization. Where is the male gametes and the female gametes you? So, this is the female uh, part of this plant and these are the male. Okay, okay. Could you tell something about that? This project is showing the longitudinal section of a flower flower. This part is called stamen and also known as male reproductive part. It contains filament and anther. Anther contains pollen grain which help to which help reaching to stigma by the by the help of wind and insect after reaching stigma. This part of flower is known as pistil, also known as female reproductive part. It contains style style, stigma and ovule. The style help to join, connect stigma to ovule. After reaching uh, pollen, pollen grain to a stigma, this process is called pollination. After reaching pollen, pollen grains travel to, to a pollen tube and towards the ovary. Ovary contains ova which fuses with pollen grain and form gigot. This process is called fertilization. Okay. Can you tell something about that? The flower consists of male and female reproductive parts. Stem ends are called the male reproductive parts. Stems or carpels are called the female reproductive parts. Really? You tell me something about the, what As is we can see here, this is the uh, larger form of this. part of a plant which attracts the insect for pollination is called petal. Can you tell something about what you have completed now? Sir, this project is showing the longitudinal section growth of pollen tube of flower. Anther, filament, pollen grains and uh, sepal are the main part of the flower. And uh, style and uh, style and uh, ovary oh. are the female part of the flower. Very nice. Looks uh, so beautiful like that. Yeah, this and one is another, another project. So these are petals. Petals are the colorful part of the flower which help which attracts insects for the process of pollination. Where is pollen? Where are pollen grains? Sir, these are pollen grains. What is the function of these pollen grains? It's a male or female gametes? Sir, it's a male gamete. Very nice. Very good. You tell something about that? Uh, sir, this project represents the longitudinal section of our flower uh, which shows the growth of pollen tree. There we prepared a project uh, which contains both male and female part of plant. This part is, uh, is female part and this part is male part. Female part contains of style, sti stigma and ovary. This is a male part which contains filament and anther. Anther, <coughs> anther and pollen grain, which are the male gametes which fuses with female gametes to form zygote. Very nice. Okay, uh, Gupta sir, I think that uh, the project which was given by you, students have done pretty well in those things. And really, uh, I think these are the topics which are in the syllabus too. Yeah, and by the help of the this uh, kind of projects, they are able to understand the topics in a better way. I have no? given this project due to that in a um, matriculation, the mm. most important famous question is the double fertilization. How okay. double fertilization take place? 
and through this the project a student can easily recognize that what is the double fertilizer this okay. is most important famous question for the class 2 okay and that is also syllabus in class 7 in class 7 also this kind of projects helps students to understand biology that means i uh, think a botany in a proper way if they will uh, in the future time they, they are going to take bio in the upper sections it will help them a lot in, by understanding them with practicals and everything okay uh, now tell me is uh, swarit soni uh, as i can see your project was very good can you please tell me how gupta sir helped you in making this project telling the ideas that This project is about the double fertilization. So, in the longitudinal section of flower shows the growth of pollen tube. Do you think that by making this kind of projects, students are able to understand the topics in a better way? Yes, sir. Exactly, na. No? Students are able to uh, know about the topics and get the proper knowledge regarding a topic if they do the, uh, this kind of practicals in their classes. It it really helps the students a lot. Okay, uh, thanks a lot, dear students. The, uh, so these were the students of class seven who had prepared a, uh, to a topic which was uh, pollination, uh, fertilization in, in pollination. I think fertilization, fertilization in plants or uh, how does fertilization take place in plants? So it was very well discussed and uh, uh, was uh, done by the class seven students. so it's uh, here thanks a lot